What's up, y'all? Welcome back to another episode of the CP Podcast, the podcast where CP talk about shit CP want to talk about. You know, some CP shit. You know how it go. I was late today on CP time, making a little CP rhyme. CP all the time. CP on my mind. CP, 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 CP. To my right, Maya, the, 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 your brain is so big. The big brain Maya. BBM. <laughs> and then dressed in all black. Oh, uh, and another one. Amir. The black bucket is 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 dope, bro. I stole it from my girlfriend. Yeah, bro. Okay, yeah, okay. <laughs> all right. She stole it, stole it from back. my girlfriend. Let's let's normalize that, man. Taking your girlfriend stuff, man. You know what? I was at the shoe store the other day and some girl Jordans came out. And I bought them for my wife. Um, and then and I was like, shit, I want these bitches too. Now, here's the thing. Jordan was a man. So, theoretically, it could only be girl color Jordans. I don't think it could be girl Jordans. I think if it's some Jordans come out, and they only come out in girls, and they your size, you should be able to get those Jordans because they're Jordans. And cool. Jordan was a man who wore those shoes. All I'm saying is this. That's like if a red bottom pump came out and it was fabulous, but it was only for dudes. When women would be like, get the fuck out of here. I bet I get them, bitches. <laughs> I bet I get them. You know what I'm saying? So I feel like this is no double standard. Well, Jordan was a human. He wasn't a shoe at all. So a Jordan oh, can be Oh, my any... God. Ladies and gentlemen, the brain. <laughs> I'm just saying, if you're gonna nitpick, we can nitpick. She, he was a human being. She be rethink, like you know how you refry some beans. Maya take a thought and then refry the thought. Like, however, Jordans, Michael Jordan's shoes were for basketball. No, I'm just saying he's not a shoe. It's a shoe. A shoe fits or it doesn't. Well, yeah, but. Okay, let me He's say this. He's saying from like design point, like mm-hmm. is that what, like it's it's because these had two big ass earrings on the front of them, right? I, I meant to say that two big bamboo <laughs> earrings on the front of them. I meant to I meant to bring that up too. <laughs> I, I probably should have prefaced with that. So I took the earrings off. I just like the color of the shoe. You know, it's, just, it's like a denim, like a light denim and white, but it had this big ass. Earring. Like my wife left the earrings on the front of hers, and I just gave the earrings to my daughters. Like they could put it on the front of their shoes, but yeah, you know. My man was like, you sure you want to get these? I'm like, nigga, shut up. Now, you don't know how to dress. Nigga, give me these motherfucking shoes. Watch how I put this shit together. Me! That's who. Anyway. So I saw a really dope movie yesterday. What's it you called? You seen this movie, RRR? This oh, Indian movie. Oh, you watched it? You watched yes. it? Yes. Okay, so what did you think about Okay, so Do you remember that one part where, um, what's the, what's the dude's name? I know. I, I know, never saw it before. Indian I never dude. saw it before. <laughs> I never ever watched it. That's how easy it is for for people to finesse you, because they because they because they think they people want to come to the rescue of somebody having something on the tip of their tongue so bad. What's my man now? You be like Jonathan, right? And, and, and when Jonathan, <laughs> and before you know it, a nigga that got your number. You're like, yeah, call me anytime for sure. Call me. He loves R R R. Anybody who's seen this shit. What is the Indian? It's a Bollywood movie making the rounds. It's three hours long. It's epic. It's a Bollywood three movie, and it, it and it got by. It's a three hour Bollywood movie. That's how long Bollywood. And it somehow are. slipped through the cracks and got by me. How? It's how just, did I not see this three hour what, Bollywood movie? <laughs> what does the three hour stand awesome. for? How did I miss this three it's hour like Bollywood Mama. movie? What, story because I think it's also it's in Hindi and then it's oh, in English too. That's what happened. But yep. it's dubbed into it's dubbed into English. This movie is epic. This shit crazy. They just they. I would suggest the everybody watch it because I remember remember this in the middle when With it was the tiger? like no they are not <laughs> and then you was like oh a tearjerker for sure <laughs> if <laughs> no. <laughs> no. <laughs> Sort of a tearjerker no. at the end, if you really, because only because you wanted it to be. Uh, next time I look at pictures, this is how I used to do book reports. <laughs> oh my god! I used to finesse and bullshit. Well, here's 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 what I felt about the book. 
I felt like there was a point where the author my, and, and my teacher would be like on the edge of her seat, like it was Oprah Book Club, like, mm-hmm. The author made some choices that I was like, oh, okay. Like with uh, the dude, uh, I'm sorry, what's the dude's name? Uh, uh, Sir Greg, Sir Gregory. Why in the world? I know, I know, <laughs> I know. And, it, and it, at some point, the teacher will take over. Which brings me to my next question. I'm glad you even said that, Chris Powell. I'll be looking at everybody like, I do my heads like this. I don't know. You know what I'm saying? Like The most embarrassing, I felt embarrassed for this other girl one time because it was book report day. Everyone had to read their book reports. And the teacher read what was on the back of the book. And she wasn't paying attention. She was fussing around. And then she goes to this girl. She said, come up, read your book report. So come girl comes up, reads the exact same thing. And me and the teacher were like, because no one else is paying attention, yeah, by the way. Yeah, that's the back funny, of the though. book is the worst. Oh, my God. Don't, don't do that, duh. Go to the Yelp reviews. And then, like, how is this book? This book was exciting because, you know what I'm saying? Like, she's you... like, a compelling, gripping novel about two lovers who fell in love. It's like, fam, come on. You when when Easy Bib way. hit the scene, that was a game changer. Well, Who? Uh, Easy Bib? Easy Bibby? Is it Easy Bib? Or oh, yeah, there's no. a website that helped, like, you know. You just see the thing online or whatever? Oh, no. You were in first grade in 2001. I was yeah. in college. So that means <laughs> by the time you were doing stuff like that, I was done learning shit. I was like, the I don't want to learn I don't know if else. it got easier or if it got harder. Because now it's like, they'll just put your whole paper up on the, on some some website or something. And if it looked like there's something else on there, they'd be like, oh, we got them. I got in trouble like that. But I didn't copy and paste. I just had the same ideas as somebody else that published a review of a book. And mm-hmm. they was like, oh, you're... They was like, no. I took it up to the dean and I lost. Because so, they search by sentences. You can search a full sentence to see if that sentence is repeated anywhere online. My mom used to be a professor. I, I promise you I would not she would copy and paste. She would search by sentences. They were like, like your no story sounds so cheat. similar to the other guy's review that's online. And I was like, I've never seen this dude's review online. Yeah. And they was like, nah, you guys can't have the same ideas. I was like, it's the same story. So you think nobody's going to have the same conclusion? Right. It, and like, it, that's, was, that's it wasn't word by word? I would not know. I didn't, okay. I didn't even I see it. So when you. I saw it, I was like, oh, wow. Because it was very hold on, similar. Hold on, let me shout out the uh, the three people that we got watching because they ain't here uh, shouting us out and it's dope. All right, Wendy Sith, what up, though? Dex44, what up, though? Uh, Miss Zeriel, 1004, what up? All right, so let's see. Yeah, we just talking, talking our shit. Uh, Miss Zeriel, hey, hey. Uh, the artist and the comedian, exactly. I did get her the denims, and then I got me the denims because them bitches was fire. Don't be jealous. Uh, have y'all seen them die? Nah, people been dying them. Apple juice is the dopest. If you smoke, apple juice just helps. They got those enzymes. Have you ever heard that? No, I've never heard of that. Google it real quick. Apple juice has these enzymes that like can help against cotton mouth. And I suffer from cotton. Water. Why would you not believe it as as it was as it <laughs> as it's Googleable? Like you're right there. Why give me any skeptical energy? Because uh, that just sounds like a bunch of nonsense. Mm-hmm. <laughs> First off, cotton mouth, it doesn't come up with the Google. Hmm? Cotton mouth isn't a term that comes up with the Google. I'm not talking about that. Look up apple juice and um, apple juice. I see apple juice, enzyme use in apple juice processing. Mm -hmm. Does apple juice have enzymes? Man, you always, man, you always. Well, I'm just saying, like, this this sentence, it's like, wow, that sounds good. And you look at the sentence, I'm like, what does that mean? What do you say? (laughs) What do enzymes do? (laughs) What does an enzyme do, CP? (laughs) Don't look it up and tell me what an enzyme is right now. (laughs) That's why you got veins in your neck. (laughs) This your might be the hardest is, I've ever seen my life. <laughs> your veins is popping. There are enzymes in there that literally they they. <laughs> when people say that, no, it's funny. They I'm just teasing. I am teasing. No, you. like I'm this teasing is something you. that you probably talk about a lot. And I guess I just <laughs> let me let me look up where the enzyme is. <laughs> is it? You use it for cheese processing. But I'm like, yo, now I gotta figure out oh what that my means. God. Apple juice. But in order to break down that sentence, what I googled. Apple juice have enzymes for cotton mouth. In order to break that down, there's like four things you have to understand. <laughs> I'm like, I'm not expert you're in cotton mouth. You're too smart for your own gear. Look at me in the mirror, just like, I don't even get it, man. You're like, <laughs> you didn't even know what the enzyme's properties are. You have no idea what the properties are of an enzyme. I don't enzyme. either. And what even makes it. I don't either, but I'm saying like. This, right, is, this, is, this is bullying, just so you know that. <laughs> I enjoy bullying. 
<laughs> okay, an enzyme is a substance when produced by a living organism which acts as a catalyst to bring about a specific biochemical reaction. Mm. Okay, so that so the apple juice has that for cotton mouth. Okay. Catalyst. I'm like, what does that mean? Biochemical. Now I gotta call my sister who's a uh, biologist. Like, what is this? Anyway, do you want to hear a really interesting story? Hold on. No, I don't want to hear anything from you because <laughs> you, you, you're going to give me this. Okay, you're right. You're An right. apple's acidity does make you salivate, okay. which improves vocal performance. Saliva glands have myopatithical, 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 God damn. <laughs> My, myopatithical, myopatithical. Myoepithelial, myo, myoepithelial cells, which act as muscles to make the glands contract when they come in contact with tart foods. Look at you, like you stop doing it, like you knew it the whole time. I'm, just, I, I'm listening. Oh I'm learning. my god! I'm learning from then you, you look at my ass. She's like, "Where? I mean, yeah, hello." I'm learning for you. Make myoepithelial, <laughs> myoepithelial, like yeah, that 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 tracks. You say shit like that. Oh yeah, that tracks. All right, so. Um, that's it. Okay, so apple juice is better than water. It's more refreshing than water. No, it's saying. not more refreshing. There is a chemical reaction to the enzymes in apple juice that causes you to salivate more. It makes your, those myopithelial glands contract to allow a better vocal performance. Do so you hear how, you hear how I just, you know what I'm saying? Like, you hear how I just did that? That was, I drank some apple juice. Like, I'm right. damn near Mariah Carey. I, I, I could, I could, my shit is silk right now. I smoked a baby Jeter. Hey, I'm here to learn just as much as you. Okay, so it, it increases lubrication more so than water. Thank you. That's all oh, I, I, I no, I'm I'm asking. I'm not sure if it does. Oh god. I'm just, I'm saying, yo, because it seems as though you want to drink apple juice. It's okay, just drink apple juice. I'm just trying to explain to you that it is one of the treatments for dry mouth. Okay, that's all. Is it more so than other juices? Is it a better juice for you than other juices? Actually, there are other juices as well that do it, but apple juice is one of the highest ones that attract, that make that muscle do the thing. Why are you just, man, you Because you just want to drink apple juice. Why don't you just say you like apple juice? You're mean when it comes to things. <laughs> just say you like apple juice. <laughs> man, whatever. Whatever, Maya. See how Maya do? Whatever, whatever. <laughs> like I said, the brain. The brain, the brain. You got a uh, uh, terabyte head. Uh, you. <laughs> You got a couple hundred terabytes up there. And you just picking on the week. I get it. I would never. I absolutely I would never. It. I get it. It's all good. Do you want to see this? Eight glasses sure? of water per day is ideal to help you to keep your mouth lubricated. One glass of apple juice can take you to that chemical reaction. Anyway, whatever. Go ahead. You don't believe me, so go ahead. No, I, it's not that I don't believe you. I, I I would just, you'd have to have two people sit down and be like, you both smoked weed. Here, you drink this apple juice and you drink this water and we're going to do a vocal test at the end. Yeah, or have them lick stamps. Lick stamps. Lick like 30 stamps. Okay. Lick See, people, with the science, people say science this, science that, but then you test it and you're like, oh, you just said science. That's not what the science says. You You just said science. Not you, oh, not you, no, no, not no, you, you. No, like no, in general. Honestly, no, they're not here. So you're talking about me. What's this? What's this right here? What's this? What's, what, what is this? This is an art uh, piece where this machete is being operated by these by this plant. Actually, shout out to Kayla Mack, who sent this to me on Instagram. So basically, there's uh, electronic uh, electrical noises within the plant any living creature. And it's hooked this up. This guy is called um, David Bowen, and he's an artist. And so now a plant can run the machete. Machete arm plant. 
I love it. I love it. I think uh, we need to find out what, what more plants want to do. You know what I'm saying? Like, like this is a Kush plant, and we put a dildo on this Kush plant, and this plant is fucking the shit out of these hoes. The plant is like, I don't know what song I just made, but it was cold. So, I think I think that's lit. I think uh, we should like break a bear's vertebrae and then hook it up to a bear and see what a bear want to do. Why would we do that? I mean, like Why drop a bear. Such a terrible thing, man. What are you talking about? You think this plant feel like being fucked with? I don't think the plant knows anything. Hey, where's my? That plant is trying to kill something. Go put a child in front of and, and and see if that plant would be like, I'm not gonna cut this child. No, that child, that plant, that plant don't give a fuck. Look at he like, oh, this motherfucker's sweet. Are we doing right now? Oh, it's been hard. It's okay, yeah. I can do that with it. Ooh, I mean, yeah, mm-hmm. Yeah, 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 yeah. On guard. Yeah, look at the plant. Look at the eyes on that motherfucker. I guess just random. I don't know why they had to put a machete there. Like they could have put a dildo, it's done the same thing. Well, I mean, you know, you put a deal though, then you got to worry about bitches sneaking in there. You know what I'm saying? Like, you got to leave it, you know, you know, you got to leave it. They could have put a stick. They didn't have to put that. You really want to impress me, put some nunchucks on that motherfucker and show me you got skills. <laughs> show me you ain't got any skills. I've seen things similar. People, um, they connect to the mushrooms and it creates music. Yeah, that's interesting. <laughs> Somebody said plants are fed up. Shout out to Tori Holland. Right. It could just water itself. Thank you. Why the fuck would you put a machete right there? That's a great point, Tori Holland. It could just put put a glass of water right there. Or, or, or put another plant on the opposite side of it with another machete and see if they get to scrap it. Oh, that's Ooh, Plant battles. You'll get caught up in there. <laughs> <laughs> but then it could learn, but it would have it would have to feel pain because then you could see if this plant can evolve to do more than random movements. Duh, that might need to sneak up behind it and cut one of them leaves off. And that might, and if that motherfucker be like, ow! If it do that, then we know it's real. But if it don't even move, I snip, 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 snip. Cut one of them leaves, see what the fuck happens. I beat the shit out of plant. I'm looking at it right now, like 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 the technique it got. But that's the first stiff arm it ever has. We're just trying to you know how to use this arm. We probably get it, you know, a couple more weeks just training. You know, what I'm saying probably be able to scrap something. But I mean, you know, I fuck a plant up. Well, that's interesting that you say that because they have found that um, neurons in a petri dish can learn how to play pong. So just neurons. Just brain cells in a petri dish. Why would they? Who cares? Like, can they play Fortnite? Can they build? Like, not no build solos. Like, can they build? Well, it's the first. The first step is to teach them how to play pong. No, uh, uh-uh. my kids never played pong. They went straight to Fortnite. <laughs> <laughs> well, what they did in the in the to make it not random, because the plant is just doing random, but for the neurons that are in the Petri dish to not be random, they actually had to have um, negative impulses or negative reinforcements so that, that they mean? would hurt. So they, they had to make it hurt when they screwed up. What did he say? Mm. So basically they just put human and mouse neurons in a dish and then said, you play Pong now, and then when it, didn't play Pong right, it made it, it like zapped it or something. Let me see where I... Isn't this like the same thing they did to those monkeys? Okay, when neurons miss, their play style was critiqued by a software program created by Cortical Labs. So I don't know what that means, critiqued. Mm -hmm. This demonstrated that the neurons could adapt actively to a changing environment. So it went from randomness to they straight up play Pong. Hmm. Pong seems to be the test that they like. For just for just brain cells in a dish on their own. Isn't that what they use for the monkeys too, right? Weren't they playing Pong? The monkeys play Pong? Remember the... they t- Oh, the, the, the a, a oh, telepathic yeah. monkeys? So, oh, that didn't work out for them. They no, it didn't, but I'm saying like Pong seems to be like the test for yeah. it. Yeah. Oh, they human brain cells. They didn't say that. Of course they could play Pong. They could do a lot of shit. Might not need a person anymore. 
Mm-hmm. You just put some brain cells in a dish and it can figure it out. Ugh. Might not need a body, huh? Yeah, then what? Then how then how you gonna attract somebody? You, you gonna be a you gonna, you have a little big booty brain cell? Huh? You gonna have a little big booty brain cell? Like that a little brain cell straight. So you gotta be careful in the metaverse. You might be falling in love with a peachy dish full of brain cells. Mm, that's all right though. Still get some brain. <laughs> Damn right. Damn right. And if we in love, please walk her down the aisle. Somebody bring her on a pillow in the dish. Have a beautiful dish, a little gold dish. Do it up. You know what I'm saying? Gifts. Thank you, little honeymoon. You know, I I um I bring her my carry on. You know what I'm saying? A little dish. Dish by the beach. Well, if you live in the metaverse. And then we fuck around, fellas. No, nah, well, yeah, you're right. It could be in the metaverse. Yeah, and then on our wedding night, we get into an argument, and I put that bitch in the microwave. <laughs> <laughs> only, it's murder. You, you just murdered on, this person. I only put it on six minutes. Oh, my God. You should have heard the crackle. Shoot. Man, if AI is a person, if Lamb is a person, that Petri dish is definitely a person. That's murder. You going down for that? Nah. I mean, then I'm gonna take it out and pour some water on it. That bad. I was just playing, <laughs> and then let the bacteria grow the next day. And then she can be like, "You want to talk about what happened last night?" And I'll be like, "Can we just forget about it? I ordered breakfast." She take you on. You tried to cook me, Chris. <laughs> <laughs> You said some things. <laughs> ah, man. Police come. I was washing the dishes. I didn't realize it. <laughs> no, it's robot police. Robot police that throw you in jail. You put some goddamn bleach on your wife. No, I didn't. I was, I was washing dishes. And then you, you look, you, you, you in the courtroom looking at her family. Her family is a bunch of, her grandfather is in a Tupperware. And, you know what I'm saying? It's all kind of little dishes. Her auntie is a butter dish. They all just over there like, I'm like, it's not even butter in her. They open up in the spaghetti like, man, you, you gotta leave. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta leave, man. And then, and then they like walk us through what happened. And then I'm like. It was about 11.30 at night, the, the night before I had put her in the microwave for six minutes. Oh, oh. Then I put a piece of banana in there, and then she grew back. <laughs> the next day, you know, we talked about it. And then um, things escalated, and I just began to wash the dish. Real clean. Can you, can you talk to can you, can you walk us through what you mean by real clean? It's still wool. <laughs> Antibacterial soap. Oh my <laughs> god, my baby! Antibacterial soap. Hot water. It set it up. I had a sponge. Uh, at one point, I did use a Brillo pad. The mama just passed out. The daddy, the lid, come off his Tupperware. <laughs> <laughs> Order in the car. Order in the car. We're going to take a five-minute brief uh, recess to come back. That whole course would be AI. You watch out. Turn around like, Miss Tupper, I'm sorry. <gasps> You're a master! You're a master! And then, she on cold and, and then they got pictures of her, of the Petri dish just in a drying rack, just sparkling clean. And they're like, these pictures are going to disturb. But we have to show them. And then it is... Next to her is a cup. That that is crazy. So here, somewhat related, not really related. So, engineers have discovered a new process for synthetic material growth, enabling soft robots to grow like plants. 
Mm. So basically, they have these these. We ro- talked about the saw robots before. They look like little black boogers that can move, right? Remember, we talked about the soft robots, or I, maybe I did my own research where they're like just like these little like blobs that when they get electrocuted or they have these then they these processing and you can cut them in half and they can mend back together. Uh, maybe we talked about it. At, we talked about after the podcast. We didn't talk about. We didn't talk about it um, during. Oh, okay. But we didn't talk about those little those little blob things. But yeah, these normally the soft robots uh, when they go in, let's say they go into a sewer or something, and there's all of this extra, there's all of this extra material that would normally get in its way, and now it can use that extra material um, to get to bigger, build itself a more permanent structure, like how a three D printer. Uh, is fed solid filaments to produce a shaped product, so they can it can now use whatever is around it to to build itself. That's kind of dope. It's dope, but I don't like it. Why you don't like it? Because it's new and it's. It sounds like it. It sounds like gonna, just, that should go out of control. It's gonna eat a kid and be the size of a kid. Do you ever see the Blob, the movie The Blob? Are you lying now, or do you really see it? Because you lied before. <sighs> was that the? Um... But also said I was kidding before. Okay. I didn't let it ride. I definitely saw the blob back in the day. We saw the blob. That's what this is. The blob. Did you it see is. it? Earlier? That's exactly mm-hmm. what this is. I don't think so. The blob. It was in the eighties, bro. It was a long, long time ago. Long time ago. I you seen, were, uh, you were like not you the were... blob. But I seen Flubber. Is that what it is? No, nah, no, nah, Flubber. Not with Robin Williams. Okay. No, no then no, I haven't no, seen no, it. No. This, we're talking about the eighties, so you, you, you know, you, you, your parents are probably in first grade. <laughs> it's like, no. Nah, how old are your parents? Are they like young parents? They're in their fifties. Oh, yeah, that's not bad. Early, early 50s, though. Got you. Oh, shoot. So they are kind of young. My, my, my parents are in their early 60s. And this thing, I don't know, it came from oh, no, a... I've never seen this. Oh, it's good. You should watch it. Mm-hmm. And it's it's, a, it's a I feel like movie? that should come out oh, with yeah. no one. I'm, yeah. with, I'm with all the 80s stuff. I fuck with the 80s. If a movie was good in the 80s, it was lit. <clears throat> yeah, this, it kept growing, and it would just keep taking on organic material, and it would use it to make itself bigger. Yeah, and they come under the door and everything. Ooh, look at the collector's edition. It's like over every. It's like over the. They're trying kind of go back to that picture. The, the collector's edition one. They up there trying to be like. This remind me of Purple Rain for some reason. They do look like Purple Rain a little bit. I guess. Like like yeah. a, like the theme of it just seems like Purple Rain esque. Yeah, like he's driving into a butthole. And the hair, the, the hair don't make it no better, you know, 80s, so. The fucking motorcycle, the jacket, the white shirt, her. Yep. It look like Purple Rain. Yep. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> That's like. That's like an homage. It has to be. Purple Rain. He's in purple, and there's a purple blob. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they probably definitely had to draw some inspiration from that. What kind of artist do you think Prince would be today if you came out? Do, do you think he'd be huge if he came out today? In some circles, yeah. in some circles, he'd be really well respected. Still, still great. You so think he'd be well respected? Yeah, because he could play instruments. Like he was a he was mm, a real. He did all his artist. own stuff. Yeah. yeah, yeah. That's why he put out so many albums. I was in Minnesota, and of course it made sense because that's where he's from or that's where he lived. But I was in the airport. God damn it. No, I lost a sour Skittle. Those wheat Skittles or those regular Skittles? Sour. You want some? Oh, no. I'm all set, but thank you. Don't ask. Don't if ask they me. were wheat Skittles, I might take one. Oh, wheat Skittles. Yeah. Oh, I do got some wheat candy in my bag. You want, you want some? I'm good for an hour. Thank Aww. you. Oh, thank you. <laughs> you, want to, you want to give me DMT? It's an experience. We've been talking about that for a while. Yeah. I'm scared, but I'm intrigued. You'll know when it's time. Mm-hmm. Don't ever try to force anything. Somebody said he'd be Lil Nas X if he came out today. Hell no. Nah. I mean, Lil Nas X, you got to respect Lil Nas X for the marketing he did. I ain't got to do shit. All right, no, I'm joking. <laughs> 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 nah, that's that's kind of uh, that's disrespectful to Prince. Quite. Uh, but no, yeah. shade, no shade to Lil Nas. It's just yeah, hell It's a nah. different thing. Yeah. Yeah, Prince could play, play all, all these things. Oh, that yeah. means smacking your these motherfucking skittles and bumping them. So that's that's the blob. That that machine is how the world ends. Maybe 
Nah, it ain't gonna get big as the ocean. You think? How do you know? What if it gets Man, out of if hand? It could get big as the ocean. That'd be lit. I wish the ocean was like robotic, so we could tell it what to do, so it wouldn't fuck us up. <laughs> ocean would just would be so mad at us for everything we've done to it. <laughs> I don't want the ocean to ever get such a, ever get oh, robotic. Please, y'all swear up and down. Fuck that ocean. I'm gonna tell you, like, not like that, but I'm saying, like, dog, we be that little bit of stuff we do. That ocean can rinse that shit out. And, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, man, shit. We think we just, humans, see, our problem is we think our imprint is just so, we don't even know what's going on. Earth been here way longer than us. There's no crabs this year. No snow crabs this year. Snow crab season got canceled. All these crabs just were missing. They never uh, bred. Oh, I know who ate them. All these PPP baby mamas. They ate all them goddamn <laughs> crab lids. They been just gone. Ain't no more snow crab. Look what the fuck y'all did. This is what happened. You got to get all that money and all the crabs is gone. Ain't enough crabs. Ain't enough crabs. Y'all worry about our abortions. Y'all need to start worrying about these crab abortions. Look at the crabs. Now, if crabs is extinct, I'm going to be very mad. And, and, and I know at least six women who had a hand in this. I'm going to eat some crab legs today. This There's is ridiculous. There's no crab legs. You're not having a crab leg season this year. This was ninety percent of the snow crabs are gone. Snow crab harvest is gone this year. Yo, one billion. Oh, why to give me some crab legs today? Fuck that, y'all scaring me. I'm making some crab legs. Ninety percent drop in their population. One billion crabs have mysteriously disappeared. I know the bitches that did this. I know. Yeah, yeah, they're from Detroit. Two of them from Atlanta. It's it's a group of them. That's crazy. I, I have never saw anything like this before and said, oh, yeah, crab season's completely canceled. We've had bad seasons before, but no crabs. We ate them all. This this was what happened to the chicken. We don't stop. If we don't stop Burger King, finna take all the chicken. 50 nuggets for a dollar. It's like, well, what's next? What's next? Jesus Christ, give us a break. We can't take all of this, Lord. We can't take all of this. We didn't do nothing. So I don't know. I don't even know if they know why it's gone. They just said that there's no no harvest. They're talking about basically um uh, it's a lot of McDonald's leaking into the ocean and McDonald's give you uh erectile dysfunction and the crabs last year they did couldn't get her and nobody was fucking and we ate it and they were just down there trying to figure out why they're trying to figure out we ate their ass. And then now nah, it's just the kids are trying to raise themselves. A lot of them got ate by um by uh flounders and shit. And it's just it's over, man. It's really, really, really sad. I, I ate a pregnant crab the other day. I ain't telling nobody because when I opened it up, it was another crab in there. So I ate that bitch too. Double dip, double butter. So I don't know what they're gonna do, man, because you know, at this point, it's every man for themselves and woman and child. Crabs is just for grown folks now. You can't handle crab legs if you're a kid. Only grown folks. And crab legs is about finna get expensive. So good luck if you broke. I'm finna get me some motherfucking crab legs. I don't give a fuck. I, I, I ain't know it's finna get like this. It's, it's getting desperate. It's time to stop playing. Let the survival of the fittest. How much are you paying for a crab leg? Yeah, 800. How, how 800. 800. 800. I'm, I'm finna call Crab Avenue when I leave here. That would be a good program to do. That's actually something I should probably do is call up these people who make a living on serving crab legs, all these seafood places. Be like, what are you going to do this year? Is that is that it for business? Are you going to switch to shrimp? Shit, they're going to turn into a little a uh, little brothel. It's going to smell the same in there. So like, so anything that might need cold water? I don't know. I don't know, man. I just know. This, this is a major thing. So it might reverse next year. Or a restaurant what? can always start selling head if things get low. <laughs> a restaurant can always just be like, we also now have head. You'd be uh, like, what? And then for the women too. It ain't just for us. It'd be like, why? What you mean, why? 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 I'm going to go to a restaurant that's got like three stars on Yelp. And I'm going to go You think, the well, go to a five-star head restaurant. <laughs> no, dude. It's your anniversary, Maya. <laughs> like, Jesus Christ. Turn date night into something special. Hey, look, she said, how much is the head, though? 
<laughs> Duh. So you talking about so you talking about forty five dollars? You know what I'm saying? Go to a five star restaurant. You talking about seventy five dollars and up, right? Uh, they got shrimp still, drinks, right? You sit back. Like, oh. They they got the chairs like uh like uh you getting your shoes shine or like uh man please. No, dude. Man, no. please. I'm gonna tell you what. Yes, 45, because it's a profession, it's professional here. It's at an establishment. This ain't just no, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Chefs don't get paid enough as is. So now you're gonna make you're gonna add this to it. And who who's getting the tip out? You like think you gotta the think the chef practical. is doing it. You think the chef has time? He's making the shrimp. There's still other refreshments. Okay. It's a package deal. <laughs> I want to know, the hostess? Like, who's who's providing this? Somebody said, that's a deal. I'm just saying. I'm just saying, if KFC came out with head. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. What are new snackers? <laughs> You gotta get the Colonel stamp over. You heard of the, you heard of the snacker? They got the smacker. Yeah, you better, you, let me get a a four piece uh, mixed with a macaroni and a mashed potatoes. Uh, uh, three large heads. Three. What are you three? I got the homies with me. Okay, now you're getting out of line. You think I'm about to get out of line, dude? What you mean? I don't know. What you mean? And then look, they be like, all right, it's going to be a minute for that head. Pull up. <laughs> that head going to take a minute. Pull up. You said it's three of y'all. All right, pull up. But you would trust these same people to make your chicken, though. That's where I'm like, yo, this is, this is not a My, sanitary uh, environment. You know me better than that. Robots are cooking. <laughs> <laughs> You know the robots is cooking. I don't, I don't trust nobody to cook my damn food. Man, what? And then, you know how I go. You know what I'm saying? You know, just like they opened up a French fry restaurant. You've seen the, the restaurants where they do the fries, different, different flavor fries? Yeah. Those can be good. Those can be fire. So now you open up, bam, quick little headland. You know what I'm saying? Where, people, where they just cut right to the chase. Welcome to Headland. How may I help you? Yeah, let me get two uh, gog gogs and a uh, a Dasani. <laughs> so you don't even go for top shelf. Matter of fact, I me. said the gog gog. Let me get okay. Matter of fact, you're right. Let me get one gog gog. Uh, make make that a three thousand and eliminate. Thank you. When your buzzer girl off, come up for your head. Be happy as hell in there. I just got here five minutes ago, man. We're from the buzzer to go off. Sit down next to somebody. I ain't been here that long. This me. All right. This is me. I said the law be judge all y'all. You said Allah. That what you said? Allah's going to judge us? No, I will. I will. Oh, Don't yeah, even right. bring Allah into this. He doesn't need to know what's happening. <laughs> Don't bother him with this. Allah, like, what the hell did he say? <laughs> hey, man, I'm just trying to, I'm just trying to keep it real. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, open your minds to the new possibility. My bad, my ring cam just went off. What I mean, happened? Um, my daughter ordered some erasable pens. Um. She's so excited about them. Uh, yeah, so I don't know, man. I don't know what the hell be going on. Man. I hope they erase none of the erasable pens I ever get erase worth there they anything. Go. Oh, I don't know if we can play this though. I'll show you, and if we have to cut it out, it might not. It might not get us. So this is what um, I got into a rabbit hole this week. This dude. You went down a rabbit hole with a nigga? In like a in like a, a mind sense. I know. I'm not saying that. I'm just saying like nigga had you in the rabbit hole. Oh, a nigga named Bob Larson. Look at his I would I wouldn't even uh someone I'd be the priest's ass. <laughs> 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 like that's just that's not my religion. I always grew up like I just I don't like priests, dog. I don't like how they be dunking them babies and shit and they just, they just, man, I be wanting, ooh, we. Religious motherfuckers, they, they think they above getting the ass whooping. 
No disrespect. I never fuck with a pastor or no, but I'll fuck a priest up. <laughs> You're all, <laughs> that's the blows. <laughs> Wait, we're gonna we're gonna put this on mute, and I'm just gonna explain what's going on. And if for whatever reason it it gets copyright flag, then it gets. Look at this. Look, look look at this happy ass nigga. Oh god. So he's been possessed by the voodoo demon, and so Bob Larson he has an exorcism school. He teaches people to perform exorcisms. Hold on, he he got a voodoo demon in him. He's got a oh, he demon. lit. Look at him. Ah, he a freak. Oh, this nigga nasty to the motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> that nigga crazy. Look at he fooling. He fooling in that motherfucker. <laughs> you ain't shit. You ah, I bet I beat your ass over there. All you niggas get smacked in this bitch. All of y'all gonna get your ass to smack. <laughs> In half when I get done with you niggas. All of y'all, especially you. I'm giving you the juice. You some juice. You some juice. All oh, you niggas are getting juice. Yeah, whatever. Yep, feel my ball here. Feel my ball here. Feel it. He will exercise your demons over Zoom. This this is crazy. This is some wild shit. Boy, I don't believe in this shit. Look at the old man better. He just knows it. Nigga in the orange. But these uh, people, yeah, yeah. he's genuinely doing this. What do you, why do you think he's acting like this? He popped a molly. Hmm. Uh, I, I, come on now. Look at him. You think he's on drugs? Oh, man. Well, you see a nigga like this all the time outside Chick-fil-A on Sunset. <laughs> <laughs> They're on meth. For people who are just listening and not watching, we are watching a YouTube exorcist exercise a man who's in his family. He look like Robert Paul. Shout out to Robert Paul. That's my brother. But he's like this nigga, like like he he like a big Robert Powell. He like Robert Robert Powell, big brother, Antoine. Yeah, he's this going nigga nuts. Wilding. Get that shit out of him. You know he gonna throw up. I feel like when they throw us, when they come out, let that nigga throw up. Is that a man or a woman back there holding him <laughs> on the right with, with the with the black hair? Oh, I I think it's a man. No, nah, because he got a little granny mouth. Then he got a granny mouth, a little granny mouth. You get in here and eat your dinner. He can't even have it. You know what I'm saying? Why are these kind of Christians that always have the frown mouth? They don't have the smile mouth. Yeah. Look, look at, at all of them got the frown mouth. Look back at it there. back there. They, yeah. They upset about all this sin going on. Somebody said that's a man. I don't know. It's either a man yeah. or it's Marcy from uh home uh uh love and marriage next door. Remember Marcy? Married with children, yeah. Yeah, married, married children. with children, yeah. He got a granny mouth, boy. My grandma, she used to put salt on her apples, and I feel like that's what made her mouth turn into that. God. I'm like, grandma, you ain't get old till you start doing that shit. But yeah, this dude, this dude exercises demons over his YouTube. He used to be big into the satanic panic of the 80s, but One now One thing he they try to do is slap the shit out this nigga, and I have, I've been watching it the whole time, like, when is somebody going to blow his shit out? Sometimes I wake a nigga up. Nigga be like, thank you, man, I needed that. You should exercise demons and charge a lot of money for Man, it. I don't want to be nowhere near that shit. Keep that shit away from me. You just smack people? That nigga got one time to say some shit that scared the shit out of me, and I'm shooting his ass. <laughs> 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 I don't give a fuck. That nigga got one time to scare the shit out of me, and I'm fucking him up. Wait, there's other people. Bye, bye, bye. Pull off, pull off. That nigga floated. Let, let, let that nigga feet come off the ground. I'm putting a bullet in fam sauce. This nigga, he, he too calm, talking to the camera and shit. That's how you know this shit fake. This dude right here? Man, they, they, they gave that nigga $300 to do this. But oh, now he just goes on. Look at it. Now he's like, look, look, go back. Rewind it. Rewind it. Re -re Rewind it real quick. I'm going to do it. Dude. Listen to me, Jamal. Listen to me, Jamal. Huh? Tell me. Tell me where it hurts at. Tell me where. Tell me. Tell me again. Ribs. I like ribs. Tell me. Tell me about it. Ribs. <laughs> Oh, like ribs, baked bean, baked beans. All right, all right. Oh, see that? See that right there? That baked bean devil. It's that baked bean devil. Nothing but that baked bean devil. Now you can see right here for nine 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 nine. You can get one of my books. Teach you how to do this. How to get Jamal's out of your neighborhood and squeeze them and 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 and, 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 and a lot of things like that. My book, Larson book, will worship you. Tell you how to do things. Give it on and on and on. You can use it. Come on, these little fake plastic crosses. You can put it across their head. All right, you want something you say? Ah, oh, this I hate to see shit like this. All right, let's let me get, let me get, let me get, let me get exercise in a black church. Don't have this white motherfucker 
he looked like he, did you bring a demon with you? Well, we got a couple in the back. I can let you hold one of my demons. See, he keeps exercising this Jezebel demon. I think he's obsessed with women. Oh, she a freak? Go to her. Go to her. I want to see what the Jezebel do. Let's see what she do. <laughs> Not like that. I, I don't want to. I'm saying, let me, let me, let's see how she playing it. She's a de- Well, according to him, Jezebel is the number one demon that's taking over this world. If I had to go to court and I feel like I was losing the case, I'd be like, all right, time to act possessed. <laughs> time to act possessed. <laughs> They're going to throw you in a psych ward. Yeah, right. Then that, you that, hey, deal but that's... with something. Because you're in a psych ward now. What that's that when the demon gets you. And I didn't even get, nigga, I'll be in that bitch getting some good ass sleep in a padded room on the floor, butt ass naked, singing all the songs I know. Oh, man, I love to go to, to a psych ward just to chill for a minute. And I, but, uh, you know, the medicine had you fried, but oh, we'd be good and fried too. Imagine me and you, I do, I think about it day and night. That's how, you, that's how you be. It's only right. I, you know what I'm saying? Hey, that's a vacation. People pay a lot of money for that. Hell yeah. Look at her. Look at her. Oh, wait. She a hot nature freakazoid. She's bad. <laughs> Witchcraft Jezebel, Leviathan, Witchcraft and Jezebel. Look at my man looking at her. He looking like shit. Look at my man back there. He looking at her. Look at my man looking at her booty. Yeah, that's right. Look at that white lady over there. Oh, man. Yeah, what that one with the blue coat, what's mm-hmm. she thinking about? The blue hood is she thinking about? Look at her. <laughs> She's scared she's going to catch that shit. Yeah, she, nah, she probably already got it. Don't d- nobody want her fat ass. She, she probably been had a little sex demon. Her sex demon bored as hell. Molested, secular counseling, but no prayer. Demons remain. Her aunt was involved in tarot reading and witchcraft, so that'll oh, catch man. you. Oh, man. All right, man. Come on, man. Come on up off of this. I know Deborah Wilson from Mad TV when I see her. Stop it. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Come on, man. Come on, the bar for that. So that's what I, that's what I was watching on my YouTube late at night. All his exorcisms. I've been watching Game of Thrones. You say that. What you mean? I say that you, you don't watch Game of Thrones. You've mentioned you've mentioned Game of Thrones. I have to get caught up. You don't watch House of the Dragon. I watched all of the last Game of Thrones, and then they failed at the last season. That was the but worst. But you got to get over that. The biggest dragon in the world, Vagar, is here. Vagar looked like a whale in the sky. You know what bothers me about prequels? Vagar is dead. Why am I going to get emotionally attached to Vagar? I know he's dead because he wasn't in the thing that I already saw. What the? F- <sighs> I already saw it. I already saw what happened so after. So then don't watch the Malcolm X movie or don't watch the movie about them Indian niggas you would just watch. Every movie, it's about something that already happened. It's about showing it. Like, he, this is his, this is his, well, her, because Vagar is a woman. How cool is that? That's you didn't really even cool. know that. That's really cool. Yeah, see, I know how, I know how you think. Yeah, Maya, like, really? A female dragon? Perhaps I'll that. give it a whirl. Like, perhaps I will, perhaps, but I no. Know. It's just really, really good, man. And it's just... One thing I know and I, that I've known. First of all, I got to say this, too. I apologize to the sea peeps. I was wrong. Aemon Targaryen is not Aemon Targaryen. Oftentimes, what you'll notice is that, just like in Western civilization right now, certain names are just very popular in, like, a group, a racial group, right? So... um CP got a braid demon. That's why he wearing his hat. <laughs> so, um, in Targaryen world, it's a lot of like Aegon is Jon Snow. Aegon was Aegon the Conqueror. Aegon is Aegon right now. And Rhaenerys has a son named Aegon. I think there are more Aegons too. So, you know, it's just one of those things. Anyway, I was wrong. But, um, it's just dope to understand how it's crazy for anybody to sit on that Iron Throne except for Targaryen. When you really understand like how big of a deal it is for this family, like this right here, this specific story is significant because this is when House Targaryen lost their power by fighting each other. And so it was it was dragon against dragon, Targaryen against Targaryen. 
which weakened their family and ultimately brought the whole house to doom. The Valerians were ended up being gone behind the this. The Valerians? Shit, I didn't know about the Valerians. You know that the Valerians were in I didn't know this? the Valerians were involved. Oh, That's crazy. And the Valerians are black. Wow. Yeah, the Valerians are black with white hair. And the Valerians rule the sea. So the pact was the Valerians and the Targaryens, the reason why they were made is because it's, it's, it's sea and air, water and fire. You know what I'm saying? Like, um, <clears throat> yeah, it's deep. That's crazy. That sounds like when I was researching this demon possession and all of their lore, that sounds the same to me, what you just said, mm -hmm. as the, the demon lore that this crazy guy just said. Why but it's different. Of it's different because it's on HBO. And right. yeah. Maya, you you know. I don't want to be disrespectful. I just want to let you know where I'm coming from hearing this stuff. Got you. Got you. Ladies and gentlemen, as you can see, Maya will not let us enjoy anything. We're trying to enjoy House of the Dragon. Um, man, Eamon and Damon. But I will say one point, though, just off of what, uh, this prequel thing, is that we saw the orphan prequel, the original orphan. And I said the same thing. I was like, why? I already know she lives. I already know who lives and dies because they set it up for the first one. So, mm -hmm. so I already know. Sometimes a story is so compelling that people want to explore that. Right? Even though because, they... Because now it becomes, what was the motive behind this story that happened that we know? What was the motive behind that even taking place? And what did that look like? What did a world with 20 dragons look like? Hmm. You know, at the height of their power, nobody would even think about fucking with them. And it had to be just through straight up treachery, you know, for, for that to be taken down. Duplicity. So. I mean, I'll check it out. You going to check out Rain of Fire? Yes. So Maya put me on this movie called Rain of Fire that she said is probably one of the most one of the best dragon flicks uh, she's ever seen. So I'm gonna check it out because it sounds dope as fuck. And it's set in like a real reality, right? Like Oh yeah, I'm surprised I'm surprised you're It's like seen set that. in like the future and not like So Look at these dragons. Oh yeah. Damn, Gerald Butler is in it. Christian Bale. Oh Matthew that. McConaughey, what the fuck? Dragon Hunters. Oh my God! This this movie. I'm surprised you never seen this movie. Like, that's Matthew McConaughey in this movie. Damn. I might go rewatch this movie. Yeah, I'm gonna watch it too. This shit look lit. I wonder if like so like this dude. Some of the dragons are here. Look like the Game of Thrones dragons. Yeah, they look really good. <coughs> I people, think. Do people ride them? No, these are the enemy. The the dragons are like an invasive species that has taken over the planet. I don't want to ruin it for you, but um, the the goal is to destroy these dragons. But they look really, really good. I don't know if they did some... Uh, I don't know if they had the CGI to do it at that point. Like, look at this. But it, it still holds up. Mm. All right. I got to go get my hair braided. Um, I got to catch a flight. What is this on? Do you know what this is on by any chance? Maybe I can find it on Amazon. Let me see. <clears throat> I think I think it's uh, so it's PG thirteen, so I think it's kid friendly. Amazon Prime Video. It says. I hope you don't have to rent it, but it's worth the rent. It's worth the buy, honestly. Disney Plus might be on Disney Plus. Amazon Prime Video. Amazon Prime Video, perfect. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this has been another episode of the CP Podcast. We just was cooling today, man. You know, talking about a couple of things. Uh, yeah, man. Uh, see y'all next time. Always the questions, never the answers. Peace.